What are my top 10 lures for 2022? These from, come from Closer Looks and Fishing Them. We're gonna talk about all 10 right now. So before we get started, if you like this kind of content, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also send me a comment if you're subscribing for the first time so I can say hello and welcome you to the team. We have checked out a lot of lures this year, a lot of Closer Look videos. And these, this top 10 is about the top 10 lures that I've used, the lures that I've used and caught the most fish with. Some of these you are gonna know, know right off the bat. Some might be a little secret or ones you haven't heard of, but they've all been extremely successful. They start from crankbaits to shallow water, uh, jerk baits to soft plastics and more. All of them have been proven fish catching lures for me. When we get down to the bottom three, the bottom three could actually switch at any point in time. If I would have had one lure a little bit earlier than the other, I might have been, uh, I might have caught more fish. But when we get down to the top three, they're really all three special baits. At number ten is the Jackal Bounty Fish. This is a top water soft plastic lure that really has great action on the water. You can use it cast well. You can put a three or four out. Uh, bleeding bait hook, Daiichi bleeding bait hook in it, and just cast it and just twitch it. It's a quick twitch twitch, and that tail, because it has that mesh in the back, will just make that tail go back and forth. It skates across the water. For down here, we have a lot of muck, a lot of stuff, and this is really a great bait that hangs out on the top of the water that just catches fish. I've done extremely well with this, and I thought this would actually be higher up in the rankings, but when I looked back at all of my fishing logs for the year and added up totals of fish, this came in number 10. So if number 10 is the Jackal Bounty Fish. At number nine is the Storm Largo Shad. Don't have any of them with me right now, but the Storm Largo Shad is a great small swim bait. You can pair it up with a weighted hook or you can pair it up with a just regular unweighted hook and you can cast it well and it has a great thumping tail action that attracts fish to come eat it. It's been a, one of the staples of my whole year of fishing. Sometimes when it gets tough or when it's in the middle of the summer, this is one of the first lures I use. So at number nine, it's the Storm Largo Shad. At number eight, one of my favorite things to do is throw a frog. And Bobby's Perfect Frog is one that I just love. Collapsible, the hooks are slightly outwards which help you catch more fish. I actually pull them out a little bit more. Skirt is good, floats well, it pushes out water well, casts well. This is one of the best frogs I've ever used. In terms of collapsibility, it is, it is as easy and as perfect as it can be. Very collapsible. I don't miss a lot of fish with this bait, and I also like that it skates over the over the grass and muck and on top of the water real well. It's able to just be twitched at a fairly fast or slow speed, and it walks back and forth quite well. It's really one of the most perfect frogs I've ever used. It's not the perfect frog, but it's one of the best. And in terms of catching fish, this is this is the color, and this is the fit. This is the bait at the frog pond that just crushes them. At number seven, it's the Shimano Flash Boost Jerkbait, suspending jerkbait. I believe this bait probably would have been in the top two or three if I had gotten this one earlier. I got this late in the year and I've been using it quite a bit. When the weather starts to change a little bit, I like to go to a jerk bait. I like to twitch, put twitch, pause, because you can twitch it erratically and then just let it sit there and it'll float up. It's, a, it's quite surprising how the flash boost, I'm not sure if it works, but it, for whatever reason, this bait has been just dominating fish for me lately. It's the right size, it has the right action, it just is, it's one of the most perfect baits I've, I've thrown in a long time. It casts well. It just is, a, it's really, really exceptional. I think it's a little pricey though, but in terms of the hooks are good on it, the bait's the right size, it has that flash boost, 
it seems to it seems to just be a fish catching machine for me and like i said i think it probably would have been in uh probably my top might have been top three if i would have got it a little bit earlier at number six is the cast prodigy swim bait another bait i don't have any more of i've ordered some more to get them in but the cast prodigy swim swim bait has that rattle inside the head and when you put it on a weighted hook, it has a slight wobble to it, but it also kicks really well. This is a, a little small soft plastic swim bait that really does work. It really is exceptional. That, that glass uh, rattle in the, in the front helps make just a little bit of noise, but the thing that makes this bait so wonderful is the tail. It just thumps. It really thumps well in the water, and I think the fish can feel that that thumping on their lateral line and feel that vibration and they seek it out and eat it. And it's another one that I got late, but it's really an exceptional bait. And one I'm surprised is at six because I thought I caught more fish than I actually did with this bait. So number six, it's the Cast Prodigy Swim Bait. At number five is the Hog Monster, Tackle HD Hog Monster. Exceptional, exceptional worm superior action in the tail it's a giant bait during the winter i wouldn't be throwing this but during the summer this is right now one of my favorite baits to throw when when it's really really warm i like just letting putting a little eggs a little sinker on it bullet sinker on it casting it and just letting it fall through the grass and that tail moves constantly you can use it as a bottom bouncing uh, texas rig or you can just flat out use it as a speed worm on top of the water. The tail makes this bait beyond exceptional. This is a fantastic bait that all fish seem to want to eat, all bass seem to want to eat. The small ones will eat it, the big ones will eat it. It's been, it's far exceeded all expectations with that worm. So just a quick note, if you want any of these lures, I will put a link in the description below. It's a Tackle Warehouse affiliate, it helps the channel. So if you're interested in buying any, use the link, please. And here's where things get a little bit interesting. At number four is the Gee Crack, Kaminchki, or however you say it. I had fun joking about how this looks like a hair clog, but it really does look like something you'd find in the bottom of your, the drain of your bathtub or shower it is unbelievable <laughs> i'm not joking something this ugly if you were to ask me i would never say we'd catch a fish this is by far the best bait i've ever used for any bass that i've seen betting i've never seen i've never had a better bait than a bet for betting bass than this thing you can put this on a weedless hook three or four Daiichi bleeding bait hook. And it casts a country mile. It's a little bit more heavy in the back. It looks, it casts like a bullet, but you can cast this and as it falls, it falls horizontal. And these legs will twitch and move all over. And for whatever reason, it irritates the living hell out of bass, bedding bass especially they will attack it from a distance to get it off the bed. It is, I, I enjoy casting this and even just twitching it back and forth and let it go back and forth, just small twitches. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, but like I said, for betting bass, this is the first bait I'm gonna throw. When I'm using it during the summer and other times, this is not the first one I throw, but it's one I like to keep handy. But at number four is the Gee Crack Kamichki. So number three, love this bait, is the small Z-Man Flashback. This bait has crushed some fish. I don't like that it has a, a not a really good hook, but Every fish wants to eat this. I've caught big crappie on it. I've caught bluegill. I've caught specks. I've caught big bass, up to five and six pounds on this thing. 
it thumps great. It comes through the water great. You can get it in the right water column that you want to. If you want to fish it high, you can fish your rod tip up. If you want to fish it low, you can let it sink to the bottom and then fish it off the bottom. You can bounce it off the bottom. You can fish it fast. You can fish it slow. This was really tough for me not to have as number one. God, that's the God's honest truth. I don't think you can do anything wrong with this bait. I, other than the hook. Uh, I've broken hooks, trying to bend them back in place. Uh, I sh practically should own a small, I own a small arsenal of these. Now I don't think the plastic is the greatest, but you can put a little, a different pl plastic on it. But in terms of fish catching, it's one of the, the next three baits, every time I made my first cast, I've caught a fish. And that's what made them special. I think overall I've caught almost 600 fish on these baits this year. I've actually, this is the bait I've caught the most fish on for the whole season. Now why it isn't number one is because the next two just have, I've caught giant fish with. When we get to number two, things get really special. I like that Z-Man. I could really see my that Z-Man being number one. But when I get to one and two, I can switch these out anytime. I can switch them out and say one's better than the other for many different reasons and for the circumstance that I'm fishing in. But I'm going to give number two, which is really surprising, because if you would have asked me three or four months ago, I would have said there's no way this bait would remotely come in number two, and I'm taking it out of the box now because it's a brand new one, is the Thunderhawk Lures Rat Benny. Now, this is a bait that works on top of the water, has amazing action, First fish I caught was over six. Second fish I caught was over eight. And I've had one or two 10 pounders on this bait. It fishes the top water, fishes on top of the water. Uh, you can get it one or two inches deeper, uh, but the action of this bait just comes through the water beautifully. This is actually the color that I like more. And I don't really go for color, but for whatever reason, the first one I ever used was this one and it just slaughtered fish that day in one of the most pressured ponds I fish. Usually don't get the big ones in the place I caught these on. This is an exceptional bait. And actually what makes it more exceptional, I don't know if this code still works, get your fish on 30, saves you 30%. And that makes it even better. You can get this one three or four dollars off. You are really killing the game. This is one of the best baits I've ever used in my life. That's the truth. Why isn't number one? You'll find out in a second. And my number one bait of the year is the Mega Bass Sleeper Gill. Now, why is this one better than the Rat Benny? There's only one reason. This one I can fish different water columns of the water. If I want to fish it on top of the water, I can keep my rod tip up. If I want it to go to the bottom and fish in the muck, I can do that. This bait has changed the way I fish swim bait fishing. I love these. This is the best bait I've used in a long, 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 long time. I don't think there's anything wrong with this bait at all. The hook is good, the hook is sharp, it goes through cover well, it doesn't get snagged real easy. I would say if there's any flaw in it, sometimes the tail breaks off because you get big fish to eat it, but you'll find very quickly that you don't catch a lot of small fish with this bait. You have to be a big fish to eat it. There's been several tens this year on this one, several tens or really, really close to 10, some 9s, 9 8s, 9 14s, 10 7s. I think I've caught probably 15 to 18 fish over 9 pounds on this bait alone. It's a big fish catcher. I've caught a lot of 2s, a lot of 3s. This has been my favorite bait I've used all year. But this is a bait I don't use a lot, only because I'm usually trying to target new fish or target different ways of fishing and trying to learn and become a better angler. But this is one of the baits that just is just easy for anyone to use. Anyone that if you are a new angler or an advanced angler, you can put on your line, correct, tie the correct knot and catch fish. Those last three are really keeping it simple. They just cast them and retrieve them. 
You don't have to twitch your bait. You don't have to do anything. You can twitch this one and bounce it off the bottom and catch a lot of fish. But those last three baits are just simple, deadly fish catching baits. And that's it. That's my top 10 for 2022. Did I miss any? Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll see y'all soon. Cheers.